This tutorial is an introduction to creating text in Adobe's After Effects CS6. I'm going to create a new composition and I'll call it Text Test 1. Preset, make sure that the preset matches your footage that you intend to use this with. If you do not see your footage size here. Select on custom and create the text size or the project size as you wish. Keep in mind that if you go zoom into it while you're in your nonlinear editor you wish to make it larger here so that way when you zoom into the text or whatever the case may be in your project it is not pixelated. I'm going to select on OK. And once I am here, I'm going to select on my text tool. So I will select on the upper left hand side of my panel, select on there, and on my canvas, I will select on it and start typing. Perhaps before I start typing, I may want to choose a color for my text. So in the character panel, on the right hand side I will select the color picker select on the color and select on OK I'll go ahead and select to type in my text and I will select on my selection tool to deselect. I can go ahead and drag this and move it around. If I wish to start making changes to this I may want to highlight by double clicking my layer and selecting on my character panel and select on the letter T here where I can go ahead and select the font size. I will left click on there and drag my mouse left or right. If I need to remove a character I can select on there and then go back to my selection tool to deselect. To make certain that this is properly placed I may want to bring in my safe zones so I can make sure that it is visible in case I should put this on a television so I will go ahead and bring up the grid by selecting on the button that shows my title safe action and my grids. I'll select on title action safe and you will see my zones there. The inner rectangle here is where it's guaranteed to show any text on any television. I just want to go ahead and center this. So I will just go ahead and center it there. Once I do that, I may want to change from being italic and not to be bold. If I do want it to be bold and italic, I will select on these items down here. You have many options of how to select your text and create your text. So feel free to experiment. Underneath that, I see my paragraph panel, and that's where I can make a left align and right align and center aligned. Should I have more than one line, I have the options of selecting the ability to have space in between the lines. Now if I were to select my playhead and press the space bar to play, you will see that absolutely nothing happens. That's because I have not created any effects to the text. If you have no intentions of creating any motion effect, then you can go ahead and export this option. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at what effects I may have available. I will go to the far right hand side, along with my character panel, there's a panel called Effects and Presets and you will see a list of all the items that you have available to you. I can go ahead and scroll down and you'll see text. Or I'll go up to it says animation presets. 
and that's actually where they're at. Once I select on there, you will select on text, and here you will have your categories. If I select on any of these folders, you will see the names of the different items. Now you will not see a preview of that here. Should you want to see a preview of the items that you have available to you for animation of your text, you instead will go to the animation menu and select on browse presets. When you do that, an application will open up named Bridge. Once you open that up, you will see your folders that match the folders here in the effects and presets panel. And you'll see here it says text. I'll go ahead and double click on that and you'll see the subfolders again for your text. I can go ahead and double click on any of these items and here you will see presets. If I was to preview this, now I can go ahead and select on an item and I'll wait for this to process and now you will see your preset. If I wish to have that installed on my text, I simply double click on it and now it will be there. So if I were to press play, there's my text spinning around. If you wish to loop around that effect, put your playhead at the end of your effect and press the letter N that's in Nancy. And that'll set an out point and now you can go ahead and loop around that section there. Should you want to change any settings on the effect that you installed, select on your test layer, select on this arrow here, go ahead and select on text and then animator and then here you will see your options. So you will see here that if I were to make any changes, it will start having effect on my text. And once again if I were to press play I will see the changes. If you do not want to see these grids, deselect on the layer press play and now you will see the text by itself without the grids around them. And that's how you create a text and add animation to your text in Adobe's After Effects CS6. Thank you for watching. This is Louis Sierra for Chesapeake Systems.